Hey legends, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do things a little differently and do a reaction video to Sophia Carson's new movie, Feel the Beat. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I may have a slight obsession with Sophia Carson. She is um, my wallpaper on my phone. It's her and Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> and you know, I'm not afraid to admit it that I may have a teensy celebrity crush on her, but that's besides the point. Feel the Beat is a Netflix original movie about a dancer that flops at a big Broadway audition. Now, I've danced for some years now. I've danced in professional music videos for artists like Todrick Hall and at uh, live tapings for things like Hairspray Live. So I wanted to put this movie to the test and see how accurate it was to what real dancing is like. And let's be real here, I wanted an excuse to watch Sophia Carson for an hour and a half. Fire, fire, woo, okay, so here's Sophia, or April as she's called in the movie, is practicing at the bar. He's already doing Grand Bat Ma, so you can tell that she's pretty warm. A Grand Bat Ma is basically just a high kick. She's actually demonstrating proper technique and she is fully turned out. And another thing that's pretty funny is that she's using a PVC pipe for a bar. I personally use PVC for a bar many times and I know a lot of dancers that have as well. It's a great alternative if you don't have a wooden one ready. So here Sophia is auditioning for a big Broadway show. Most dance auditions are actually just like this. You'll be assigned a number at the start of the day and you'll usually perform in small groups. Yeah, so for that leg hold turn, I'm fairly certain that it is a stunt double and not actually Sophia, which is not at all like her fault. Leg hold turns are some of the hardest turns to master, and especially such clean ones like the ones I'm asserted here. I know people who have danced their whole lives and still can't get more than a single leg hold turn. Actually, let me take a look again. Yeah, those are phenomenal. Great job to this dancer. Side note, Sophia's acting in this is actually so believable. A lot of dancers really do act like this and it's definitely a drastic change from Sophia's sweet personality in real life. She's really selling the character of April. Again, I'm pretty sure it's not Sophia doing this backflip. I mean, hey, if it is, then more power to her and I would be so impressed. But the fact that it is a wide shot and it's been recorded to not show her face makes me think that it actually isn't her. Like if you see, right before she goes to do her tilt, the camera cuts behind her. They could have stayed on that same shot from the front if it was her doing the trick. You have to come by the studio and say hi to the girls! I would love to. Great! But my dad's been sick. Again, right here, the way she lies is very believable and a great contrast from the overplayed, you know, wink wink, a lot of actors would play it. It makes you believe in the character and invest in her. Let me tell y'all, this is so accurate. At every dance competition, we will find an absurd amount of routines where little girls shake their booties and the judges eat it up every time. Even I have shaken my booty for many routines, all of which have taken first place. <laughs> okay, so these are the reigning champs. Right off the bat, judges will give you extra points for having a boy. They're called penis points. It's a thing, look it up. Those turns were really clean. The only unrealistic part is that there were no second turns in the whole routine. Typically at competitions, you will have the judges speaking into microphones, giving notes, but there could be other judges off camera doing it. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. No talking. Oh yeah. Drop and give me 20 push-ups. Now. Dance teachers will make you do push-ups or other physical activity as punishment because it hurts and it will make you stronger. Also, April says they have two weeks to get ready for comp. Two weeks is enough time to learn a dance, but definitely not to perfect it, especially if you have to work on technique. What is the problem? Maybe it's that we have no idea what you're yelling. You know, if we weren't our legs, we'd be in our butts. I know that this girl used to know April, but you will not hear a student talk back to their teacher, especially a ballet teacher. They will not take any of your crap. Okay, so I love this part right here because homegirl is just dancing. Is she demonstrating proper technique? No, but it doesn't matter because she's passionate and she's feeling the beat, pun intended. There it is, that's a nice quarter ball, see that? I can't see anything. 20. April's having the girls hold beach balls to teach them proper arm positions for ballet. 
You'll always hear teachers say that you have to pretend to hold a beach ball. However, in practice, it doesn't always translate well. For example, your fingers should almost be touching and you, can, you can't get that when you're holding a ball. You also can't get pretty hands, but in the context of the movie, it makes sense that she would try this as earlier she saw the other teacher use props as metaphors to improve the kids' dancing. Spotting will keep you from getting dizzy. Teachers can put some tape on the mirror to help with spotting. Personally, my spotting sucks, even with a place to look at, but it can help a lot of people. Didn't suck. <gasps> that didn't suck is a true compliment. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, dancing in the rain is not fun. Well, for a lot of people it is, but I think it's cold, dirty, and smelly. You know, we, uh, we wouldn't have worked out for a million reasons. Yeah, no. But, uh, that would have been fun to try. I haven't talked about the romance so far yet because Sophia isn't in love with me. <sighs> but this part was very cute and definitely made me awe. As adorable as this is, it would not work at a real competition. First of all, he's not registered with that piece. Second of all, his company didn't pay a participation fee for him. And third of all, he's completely changed the category from duet to trio. Still very cute though. Yeah. Well, your daughter's grown back. Moms don't even reach 90 degrees. Your daughter has no turnout. Your daughter has got no stage presence. <laughs> this is actually the funniest conversation I have ever heard. I guess you're a big time Broadway teacher. This is so big time. Just keep moving, guys. Come on. There unfortunately are many, many mean girls and boys in the dance competition world, and they literally do act like this. Usually they won't do it outright and be mean like at a competition because they could lose points for it, but definitely after. RJ left out your elbows. There it is. Don't lose it. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay. Sarah holds your core. Partner work isn't actually romantic like how it's played out here. It is actually very hard and requires a lot of focus from both parties, but it could just be because I am a terrible partner dancer. Like that number of people I've dropped, unjustifiable. Even it's a bold choice for April to have chosen a contemporary dance instead of a musical theater one, especially since she is trying to impress the Broadway director. I personally would have prepared a huge show-stopping, high-energy piece, but this one does hit certain emotional levels. It is very upsetting that Sophia Carson isn't kissing me in this scene. Well, okay, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I will say I am very biased because as I said earlier, I am a huge fan of Sophia Carson. That being said, this movie had a ton of funny one-liners as well as really lovable characters. I would totally watch it again with another dancer or someone that just wants a feel-good movie. If you watched this movie, leave a comment telling me what your favorite dance scene was and why. And if you liked this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you like me, you can follow me on Instagram at Marco J. Goches. See you later, legends.